All right, everybody. Game Cooker US Rocks VR here, back in Atama Cart. I am uh, benchmarking the uh, RTX 3090 today. I'm just trying to find the best colors here for this uh, on-screen display. It looks like blue's not going to work, so let's try back to yellow again. So right now I am uh, at uh, 4K, no V-Sync, max frame at 500, image sharpening at 1.5, which probably really don't need to be that high. <coughs> um, now uh, NVIDIA just did an update, it's February 28th, so I don't know what the update changed. It was supposed to make some, I don't know, performance fixes or something, but I, I don't know like what it did exactly. Um, so right now I'm on Atomic, which is the highest you can go. I turn off depth of field and motion blur. So uh, what else here? Everything else is up to max pretty much. NVIDIA Reflex is on. <clears throat> I got a really bad cold and sniffles, so forgive me for coughing, making sniffing noises. <clears throat> so Atomic is pretty rough on anything. You know, the 4090 does pretty good with it, but I mean, that still gets, you know, smacked when you put it on Atomic. Even though that one still does like over 100 frames per second whereas right now the 3090 uh, surprisingly is not even up to 60 on atomic which is pretty uh, pretty crazy now I do have a slight overclock on the GPU and it only goes up to 100% on the wattage because this is a uh, the bottom of the barrel RTX 3090 that I got with my Alienware so they probably bought like the lowest grade 3090 to put in their computers. It's not really good with overclocking. Uh, I tried, it just gets very unstable quickly. So it's not a good bin product. So it's just basically the stock with just a slight overclock, which I managed to do. Um, nothing really to write home about. Um, so we're getting like you know upper 40s here which is quite surprising you know you would think that it would be up higher but it is on atomic so that is quite impressive still I mean atomic is pretty rough on everything but I mean this is this really like kills GPUs like big time I mean, over here where it usually drops really low, it's still kind of hanging in there. So if we turn down the high, let's just turn down, uh, let's turn down the ultra and see what happens. No depth of field, no motion blur, anisotrophy up to eight because I always like that. Let everything load in. Boom. Yeah, so we go from the low 40s to the mid 50s right here. This is a pretty bad spot. And then out here, we're going all the way up into the uh, 60s. So if you turn it to ultra, then you're probably going to be over 60 frames per second most of the time, unless you're like, you know, in, in one of those like bad spots. Let's see what this is here. Oh. So this is a pretty pretty rough spot here, so it's getting like 
for 50 frames per second. Sometimes drops to 48 in this fog here. They got like the thing like right underneath the boat, which is kind of funny. Oh, oh my god, that was not good. <laughs> Dips. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so Ultra will keep you uh, pretty much above 60 for the 90% of the time. And then, of course, indoors, it's definitely going to be higher. I'm going to go in there in a second, because um, i got to go finish the quest in there anyway. So, let's uh, put it on high. Let's go down one more and see... Um, <coughs> if we can bump it up even more. Again, no depth of field, no motion blur, and anisotrophy up to eight. Everything else on um, high, except for this animation. Wait for the grass to come in. All right, so high settings, uh, Getting a few frames higher, sometimes up into the 70s. That's that's so weird, you know, going from ultra to high. It really doesn't like make a big difference. You know what I mean? That's very strange. In my opinion. So let's go back over here to where this pretty rough spot is. I know it's, uh, I keep doing the same spots here, but these are really good spots to, uh, you know, check the FPS because these are just pretty rough spots to be at right here. So see, you can see it's under 60 here and high. So let's try to put on some DLSS. Although I don't think I would do it at high, but let's just see what it does. We'll put it on quality. And it bumps it up to 72 in the rough spot and 80s, mid to upper 80s. It looks like, you know, low, mid, upper 80s, depending on where you're looking. I would say 80s for sure. So, you know, that's pretty smooth. So I would say don't go any lower than high at 4K, because it's just going to, the game is just going to start looking pretty crappy. Right now it looks <coughs> pretty good with DLSS. Now with FSR you're gonna get more but it doesn't look as good I don't think. So let's reset everything back again. So now we're back down to 60 uh, like it gets pretty low here too depending on where you're standing. Let's say optimized it. Yeah, so we'll say 64 here. Let's see what we can get it up to. We'll put FSR on quality because that's the lowest I will go <laughs> with FSR. So here we can see we're getting uh, almost 100 frames per second. <coughs> and it's a hundred frames over here but it definitely does not look as good I don't care what anybody says they're lying if they say it looks good and you're deceiving yourself if you say it looks better than DLSS anyway okay maybe if you have a Radeon GPU your games look horrible to begin with so 
there's no way for you to like compare it to anything else so but FSR does not look better than DLSS and without a doubt does not look better you'll get higher frame rates but it, it doesn't look better so let's go over here to this place again so we're like a Yeah, like in the 80s still. All right, so let's turn off FSR. It's high, fr it's higher frame rates, but it doesn't look as good. Definitely does not look as good. All right, so let's turn it back up to ultra. I mean, we can go down the medium at 4K. I mean. <sighs> Sorry about the sniffles, I really am. There's nothing I can do about it, though. Uh, medium. Uh, I always like this anisotrophy up. Um, vegetation we can keep down. 3D models I like on high. Textures, I don't know. Probably high. Let's try like a mix. So, medium gets us up to the upper 70s here. <coughs> and it looks like the 90s. Oh, dropping down back down to the 80s here. But that's because I'm moving. So, I would say... Here is like 89, 90. So let's put on uh, the OSS. I'm gonna go over here though because, you know, I can see what the what everything looks like. You can tell like right here in this area really well because you got the different kinds of grass and stuff like that. Like right now everything looks soft on medium. I think because the uh, shadows are down. So let's try DLSS with the mixed medium and it should look oh it should look better actually so now we're up to like 115 frames per second and yeah I'd say it looks better slightly better in my opinion it's very acceptable and you're getting 108 frames per second at 4k so remember that over here where it was kind of lower seems still over a hundred yeah so I would say that mixed medium at 4k is good <clears throat> of course, though, I probably would play at 1440 Ultra at this point. So here it's in the 90s, so that's pretty good. So let's go down here and see if it drops below 95. stays above 95 that's good of course we turn when when you're on medium the smoke is a lot less yeah the smoke is a lot less so if you like turn the smoke up um, where is it fog if we turn that say up to ultra so that it looks much more pronounced probably going to get a bigger drop. Let's see. Oh, no, it's still, still staying up there. Okay, that's good. You can probably keep that on high. <coughs> this is good. Yeah, so mix medium, medium high, 
That, with DLSS, definitely good. Let's check FSR. But I guarantee it's not going to look as good. I'm going to turn it all, this off first. So I can get a look at what the game looks like um, natively. It's already kind of a little bit uh, soft. With DLSS, it definitely makes everything look just slightly better. But let's see the what FSR is going to do. Now the frame rates are going to be really high, I can tell you that right now. Much higher than DLSS. Yeah, so we're up to like 145 frames per second right here. And the game, uh, well, it looks, it looks a little bit softer. But I'm going to be honest, I mean, it's uh, just slightly worse than native at the medium settings. <coughs> slightly worse. I, I would say DLSS still looks better. So here you're still getting like 113. This is like the bad spot. You know, like... The thing with DLSS, the farther that something is, the more blurry it gets, right? So. But, I mean, if you really must play at 140 frames per second in 4K, I mean, you can just use it, but... I would prefer to use DLSS. Because I just like a crisper-looking image. <coughs> and that's what DLSS does. It's definitely crisper. Now you can turn up the sharpening, but sometimes that doesn't really make it look better per se. Like you can put it up to two. It's already up to one, which is pretty high, right? And that will will make things look better, you know? But sometimes it doesn't. Like it depends on what you're looking at. Sometimes the, the over sharpening you know, it kind of makes things look a little grainy, you know, so depending on where you are, what you're looking at, but I mean, you could use the sharpening, but remember, that's not really like making an image look better, it just appears to be sharper, you know, so um, some things just aren't going to look right, so that's why I don't prefer to have it up to two. I like it at one. So it's up to you, you know. If you want the, the much higher frame rates and you can deal with uh, image loss, which I can't. <laughs> I just like, f really like fidelity. Oh, what happened here? Forgot to shut it off. Yeah, I like I like the fidelity for sure. Yeah, so uh, DLSS. I'm not going to bother with frame generation because you have to restart the game and I, I just don't. Uh, maybe I'll do a video with just frame generation. I don't know. Yeah, they make you restart the game, which is kind of crazy. Alright, so right now I'm at DLSS again. And yeah, everything just looks really good. I mean, it's 108 frames per second. And if you're inside somewhere, like if I go in this building, I mean, we're up to 158 frames per second. So you'll see that inside when I go in, in back in the building. All right, let's, let's change over to uh, 1440. So let me turn off the LSS first. Uh, oh wait, yeah, it's it's on. Uh, yeah, so medium, the medium high is at, uh, you know, let's just say the mid 80s, upper 80s. I mean, that's still pretty good. But I mean, if you put DLSS on, it, it actually makes the game look better. So it's kind of strange, but that's just the technology.
So let me, let's put let's put this back up to uh, atomic without depth of field and no motion blur. <coughs> and Nvidia Reflex is always going to be on with an Nvidia card. Alrighty, so now we're back down to the low 50s, upper 40s, and in the building it's going to be uh, like in the upper 60s to 70. So that's not bad. It still is very playable at this, you know, resolution. Alright, so let's turn it to 1440p, because that should be pretty good. Come on, don't do it. Alright, good. Come on, make it full screen. There you go. There it is. Alright. So now, uh, 1440p, atomic. We are at... Uh, low to mid 70s, like when you're when you're moving. Over here, it drops like when you're moving, like maybe to 68. So Atomic 1440 is looking pretty good so far, and you still get the same benefit when you turn on DLSS. It looks better with DLSS. Right? So over here it should drop. Because it always does. But not too much. Not too bad. 66. Pretty good. Let's see if it drops here. 62. So 62 is probably the lowest it's going to go. Yeah, 62. That's not bad. We're not going to waste any time on uh, going lower. Because DLSS and FSR should mitigate enough on Atomic. I mean, we could go to Ultra. So let's put... Uh, DLSS on and see how many if we can bump up this frame rate from 70 73 and we are up in the 91 that way 91 this way like 80 well 89 here I guess 89 there And over here, it's like 97. And just as I suspected, turning on DLSS, it actually, the game looks better. <laughs> so, you know, DLSS doesn't just give you more frames, it actually improves the image. And inside here, we're like well into the 130s, so inside should be wonderful. Wonderful. But just to be fair, I'm going to get on FSR. For those people who can deal with some crappier looking graphics, but need, for some reason, need the super high frame rates. So I'm going to go back to the native. Okay, so here it is uh, 70, 70 native. Well, yeah, it's like going back and forth, like 70. We'll say 70. It's kind of up and down. So we'll put on FSR quality, and we should get close up to 100, probably. Oh, not quite. 92. 90, oh, it's like going back and forth. So, like, since it's bouncing back and forth, we'll say... I saw like 91, but uh, so 92, we'll say, since that was the lowest one I saw there. 
Over here, we're getting uh, over a hundred. So just as I predicted, but everything looks softer, right? Not as crisp. Definitely playable, you know. I mean, it's just I again. I, I like the uh, super clear graphics. Uh, and over here in the bad spot, we still easily get uh, in the 80s. So yeah, 83 we'll say. Yeah, so I mean, you can drop it down to Ultra, I mean. Let's try Ultra. Let's just drop it down to Ultra here. Turn off uh, FSR first. Alright, so on, uh, Atomic 1440, we're at like 70. So I'll turn it down to uh, Ultra. No depth of field, no motion blur, and anisotrophy up to 8. Wait for the grass to come in. So we're up to 86 there. <coughs> So we know FSR is going to do really good there, so I'm not going to come back with the FSR. Um, so we're up or over 100 frames per second at Ultra. So 1440 Ultra looks pretty good. I mean, it, and over here we're getting like 84, we'll say. That's where I saw it drop. So that's pretty good. Go over here. <coughs> we got a lot of vegetation and stuff. Looks like 90. <coughs> so we'll put on DLSS and see what we get over here. So we get over 100. 109 frames per second. 110. Over here, we're getting 117, 113. Over here, 122. And the game looks a little bit better. Like I said, the, you know, as always, it's always better looking with the LSS. I mean, yeah, you do have some things that you notice, but I don't think it's going to be much that's going to be like really dampening your time to play. So yeah, so this is usually, used to drop here before, I wonder if they optimized it. So here's 111, so that's a pretty bad spot there. 108 there, so that's pretty good though, still over 100. And in here we should get like 160, that's crazy. I have a 240 hertz monitor, so... That is actually true. Yeah, so let's go over here to where it dropped down to uh, like 108. And then we'll do FSR. Right. It looks like we're at 110, 107. So we're at the uh, Ultra right now. So it looks like Ultra is going to be our winner. So regular Ultra, we're like at 94 here at this spot. FSR should get us well into the hundreds. You have to understand if NVIDIA just simply did an algorithm, they would still be able to get the same amount of resolution as FSR. Like so, you know, AMD is not doing anything like revolutionary. <laughs> They've had upscaling technologies before, you know. Oh, actually, I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be way higher. So it's at 121 here, which isn't bad. Did I put it on? Let me make sure. Yeah, it's on uh, quality.
And remember, reflex is on. I should turn that off, but because I'm actually helping out <laughs> the FSR situation. So 127 over there. So it's really only like 25 more, 20 to 25 more uh, than DLSS for some reason. That's kind of weird. It looks softer. It doesn't look as good. We'll go over here to the car. Yeah, I mean, in this particular case, I think I would definitely say no matter what DLSS, if you have DLSS capable card. So here it's 107. So it's not really doing as well as it did at 4K for some strange reason. Of course, we were down the medium before. So let's turn off FSR and go back to the native. And then I think uh, we'll check DLSS over here one last time just to see if we can verify that that is the best option for NVIDIA cards anyway. Obviously, if you have an AMD card, you don't really have a choice. Yeah, so we're still at uh, 98 to 100, so that's perfect. Yeah, so this is definitely doable. So I would do 1440p Ultra DLSS quality. That, that's the winner. Definitely the winner. No doubt. And that'll give you, you know, uh, over 100 frames per second. Should be almost all the time. I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe when we jump down in this pit. <laughs> I'll do some testing there because that spot is pretty bad. In here, we're probably going to get like, what, 170 frames per second? Yeah. No, no problemo. All right, so... There you have it. So it looks like 4K, medium high, medium high with DLSS, or 4K high FSR, you know, because FSR needs more quality, right? Because the lower quality that you go with FSR, the worse it looks, okay? Now, I usually reauthor re my videos, so it's kind of hard to see on YouTube, like how crappy things look. But I will show you, um, especially over here where, where there's a lot of bushes. I'll put it at 1080, right? And then I'll turn on FSR. And I'll make sure it's in the sunshine here. Is it like perpetual daytime here or what? Um, so let's see, where can, where do we have some nice bushes here? Probably like right here would work good. Maybe. Yeah, I think here would be perfect. Alright, so is, are we back at native again? Yeah, let me turn off DLSS. Alright, so we're at 90, uh, 94 here on ultra so I'm going to turn it down to 1080 which is going to shrink the screen for a second but we'll get it back come on you can do it all right so this is 1080 um, we're on ultra right yeah or yeah we're on ultra Everything looks very soft, you know, it's not very good looking. And I'm on a 32 inch screen, so it's not like I'm looking on, I'm on a TV. It may look a little bit better on like a 24 or 27, but yeah, it's not great. All right, but if you turn on FSR, it's just gonna look disgusting. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but I'm just going to put it on just to show you, or at least give you my, right? So it's very blurry. Like all these bushes are blurry, even at quality. Like they're just like, like that looks like a blob. You know what I mean? Like those are really blurry back there where you see my cursor. 
you know it's kind of hard to tell in the OBS even but on my screen like you can yeah it's really weird how the OBS like uh, it doesn't you can't tell the blur which is really weird I don't understand that but it's it's they're blurry all of them all the bushes are blurry even this close one's blurry and there's a lot of like shimming going on all over the place I don't know if you can see that let me see yeah you can kinda see it in the video but when I re-render it it's probably gonna fix a lot of that up yeah so definitely do not use FSR at 1080 I mean it's just not I don't never <laughs> just don't do it 1440 it's workable still have some problem there with that but not as bad like it's it's minimal so yeah don't believe anybody when they say it looks good it doesn't look good don't believe yourself if you think it looks good it doesn't look good you're fooling yourself into thinking that you need high frame rates and play a crappy looking game you owe yourself better than that now with if I put DLSS on now like right now we're getting 112 frames per second whoops now if I put DLSS on it's gonna look better or at least it should maybe I'll be made a liar but so we're we got DLSS on quality and we're at 121 frames per second so it doesn't look any worse that much I can say and just to ver just to be fair I'm looking None of these close bushes look bad. Like this one, this one, this one. That one looks good, that one looks good, that one looks good. Um, it's kind of hard to tell back here. But, but, even though it's not easy to tell, on the FSR you can see a blur on all these. Right? Here, there's, it's not really a blur, it's just kind of like a, more of a blending effect with the DLSS when you have really far away stuff um, but on FSR it's actually a blur and that's very annoying like super annoying like none of this stuff right here is blurry right it's actually kind of a little better looking the grass especially so and you're getting uh, you know 120 frames per second, 134 sometimes, it's kind of hard to see there, 144 there, 133 there, yeah, so don't, uh, yeah, don't use FSR, just try to play around with the native settings, I would, if, at 1080p, that's what I would do. <coughs> like, right now, we're already up to, uh, what? We're already up to Ultra, so I mean, if I was on an AMD card, I probably would just put it on Atomic and see what see what it does. So I'm turning off DLSS. Got to wait for the grass to come back. So at 1080p. Um, it's like at say 90 just to be fair even though it said 91 so I mean it's very playable you know even at 1080p I mean it's going to like when you're moving it drops down a little like there it's 89 I'll go over to the bad spot yeah if I was on an AMD card I would just play it at 1080p native and just play with the settings I mean if you can play it on atomic I would do that yeah so it's at 86 so I mean yeah if you can't if you can't go to 1440 or 4k then uh, yeah I would just do the 1080 native settings just uh, you know atomic ultra or high because I mean high will get you some frame rates even if we just knock it down to high like we're at 88 there so if we just put it at high, put this anisotropy up. 
let everything load in again. I mean, just turning it to high, while we're still actually where we were before. That's kind of weird. This game is odd. So that's 128. 132. I should put that on orange, I guess, huh? That's what I should have had. 117 that way. Yeah, so you can probably turn it up. I mean, it's like... Actually looks... <laughs> You know, it looks a little... You might as well just keep it on Ultra, because I don't think it's going to change much. Alright, so we're putting it back on Atomic, and we're going up to 4K again. And then we're going to go inside. And now we're back to... 51. This is almost like cyberpunk <laughs> in some way, you know, in some ways. This is like a pretty good benchmark. I mean, I know Hogwarts Legacy, but that one's, this one seems more optimized in my opinion, you know. We're going to go inside. Now down in this pit over here, uh, it can definitely drop like way a lot, you know, like a whole lot. <coughs> Even, even, even with the 30, even with the 3090, this place is just horrendous. I mean, it's even bringing this to its knees. Look at this. Wow, 34, 35 frames per second. <laughs> Youch. Now that's on Atomic, so if we put on DLSS, and I'm not going to stay here long because you don't really, st I mean this is like, I don't know if there's any other places on the in the world like this, but DLSS takes you all the way up to the 50s, so that should be perfect. If you do, if there are any other areas with a lot of water, you know. Like this kind of situation. I don't know why it's uh And then we'll try FSR. Which probably should get a more than 57. Uh, no, it's still like 58, 60. So yeah, even FSR is having a rough time. <coughs> Even the mighty AMD FSR can't do anything with this area. Alright. So we're going to go back inside. We're at 4K Atomic. We're going to start out with um, going over to the elevator here. Now inside it should be really good. And I'll probably be a lot quicker in here, so stick with me, stick with me. Because we don't really need to, um, you know, we don't really need to like, uh, <coughs> every place is going to be pretty similar in here. Like in here it's like in the what? 
55. That, this, that one might be a little bit lower because it's, you know, pretty taxing there. Um, out here, let's see what we got. We got, uh, yeah, the same, basically. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let me, let me uh, just fix this real quick. So you guys can see better. And I'm really getting hit by this coal big time. I'm going to make this um, orange. Like a, maybe a... I don't know. It's kind of hard to find a perfect color, you know, because... You know, it's very hard to see, you know. I mean, red is usually pretty good, though, I think. Like, we're going to try red. Let's try red. Yeah, let's try that. I mean, it's still kind of hard to see with my weapon in the way. <laughs> but yeah, so we're at like 59, 57. So we'll turn on DLSS and FSR. Again, I don't really need to go anywhere else because it's going to be pretty similar. So I'm just going to do DLSS quality. And that will take us up to the mid-90s. So that's pretty nuts. <laughs> pretty crazy. Yeah, so that's that's definitely going to get you in the 90s. So that's very playable. So I'm going to try FSR. I always like going back to, you know, the native. 50, so we're at 57 here. And we'll put it on quality. And you should get a little bit more than that. So yeah, it's like a it's like a hundred. <clears throat> so it's a few frames more. It doesn't look as good though. Alright, I'm gonna say that. It doesn't look as good as DLSS. Okay. Even at quality it makes everything softer. We can go in here and see if we have higher for FSR. I'm not sure what's going on there. That's very weird. I'll have to check that out. So in here it's like 104. So yeah, so it's it's still pretty good. So DLSS. Let's see what that is. So native in here is 57. <coughs> uh, quality on DLSS is going to be probably again 95-ish. So like 96, 98. So it's almost the same as FSR. Let's check this thing though. All right, so that was not FSR. That was just that's a <laughs> problem with the game, I would imagine. Yeah. All right, so, I mean, that's pretty much it there. You're going to get around 100 if you enable FSR, DLSS. But I would say DLSS is going to look better. So if you have an NVIDIA card, this, I mean, use DLSS. I mean, it's, 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 you're not going to lose really much fidelity, if any, at all. In some cases, you're going to get fidelity back. All right, so we're going to shut off the LSS and just do 1440 again so we can get this done. Like I said, I'm not going to be running around here too much. You know, I, again, I don't go around looking for anomalies. It's like, who cares? I mean, it's like if you see something here and there, then big deal. You know, I mean, I, to me, that it doesn't matter. Like that, if it was like all over the place, yeah, then I would be like, oh, that sucks. But if it's just like, Every once in a while, you see something strange because of the FSR or DLSS. I, I don't care. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me as long as the game is smooth, which it is. You know, the game is very well optimized, in my opinion. All right, so everything's back off. Now we're at Atomic, remember? Okay, <laughs> we're at Atomic, so we're at the highest settings you can go. So. Again, if you want that little extra frame rate, just turn it to ultra. 
I'm not going to bother doing that. Because we're already up to 100. That's pretty darn good. So let's put it at 1440. I'm going to make a full screen for you guys. Alright, so let's make sure it changed. It says it's at 1440, so... So at 1440, yeah, we're we're up we're from 57 to what 100, 100 and like 104 in there, and I'll go back to this room here just to verify that it really isn't much of a difference. And in here. Standing still, it's like 101, so we'll use this one as a benchmark first. So if I put on DLSS, <laughs> I mean, we're good to go. I mean, good to go, man. So we're up to 160 frames per second. So, I mean, <laughs> so, you know, come on, man. DLS, DLS, if you think DLSS is junk, then you've been brainwashed. I mean, look at that. That is insane jump. Out here, you're getting like 145, 144. It's kind of weird. Like in here, it actually went up. Maybe because maybe out there, there's more like lighting. I don't know. That's weird. It's like 167 in here. In here, it was less at native, but it's more on DLSS. That's, that's really strange. This game is pretty crazy. <laughs> Pretty nuts, huh? I don't get that. Alright, so we're going to turn off uh, DLSS. And we're back down to what? Uh, like 100 and... Okay, I guess it was up to 100. Maybe it was depend on what I was looking at before. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know where I was looking before. That dropped it. So it's at actually 108. So that's... So I guess it was a little bit higher. So 110 FSR quality. And we're getting 189 frames per second. <laughs> and um, uh, I don't know. With this lighting in here, it doesn't look too bad for some reason. Not sure why. Out here, things look a little bit softer, but not too bad. You know, it's still, it's still, it's still going to be softer, no matter what. But in here, we're getting uh, less again. So that's really strange, huh? Probably because of all this lighting, I would imagine. So yeah, so, uh, you know, I don't know what to say. Atomic inside 1440 atomic 4k atomic and if you're not happy with the frame rate just kick on FSR DLSS and you're good to go You know you're good to go That's all I got I mean I don't again I, I'm not gonna bother with 1080p because uh, FSR just is gonna look worse. I tried it already. I, I already know. Even other games, I tried it. Just 1080p FSR, not good. Definitely not good. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. Hope this was a uh, interesting and helpful and all that good stuff. Um, you know, sorry about the on-screen display. I guess I'm, I didn't really put it in the best spot or the best colors. I don't know how to get. It. We need like a a high, super high contrast kind of color. Well, I'm going to do some gameplay video, you know, so. Put it back up to 4K. All right, thank you, everybody, for watching. See y'all later. Peace.
Oh